In this section, we're going to be working with the inverse functions. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our first question here. We want to find the exact value of inverse sine of 1. So keep in mind these questions are coming from an equation uh, similar to what we've been working with. Maybe we started with sine of theta equals 1. And when we're taking the inverse of a function, think of it as we are undoing an operation. And in this question, we want to go ahead and solve for our angle measure. So in this case, we would be taking the inverse of both sides. Of our equation. And keep in mind that the inverse function and the original function are going to undo each other. And that's really where our angle measure, or theta, is there on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we have the inverse sine of 1. Now, we have a couple different ways we could do this. We can obviously type it into our calculator and solve for this angle measure in degrees. Or we could go ahead and take this same type of question and apply it to a chart. Okay, so here we have our sine of theta value uh, as 1. We want to know, well, what was our angle measure that we started with originally? And off our chart, that would be the same thing as pi over 2 or 90 degrees. Okay, so our angle measure here is pi over 2. Uh, if you were working in radians, um, if you had your calculator in degree mode and you typed in sine inverse of 1, uh, you would get... 90 degrees on your calculator, if that was the mode you were working with. For the other question here on the slide, uh, we want to find the exact value of inverse sine of negative one half. So let's go ahead and use our chart on this one. Uh, here we have our value of negative one half, and the angle measure that we would have started with in this case is a negative pi over six. If you had typed it into your calculator, inverse sine of negative one half, and you had your calculator in degree mode, uh, this would obviously come out to be negative 30 degrees.